I offer a different mindset as it applies to news, religion, hip hop, and politics. I'm officially banned in America. I'm the shadow band man. Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section. So headlines I just read anti-Semitic tweets prompt a Jewish educator to resign from Kanye's Donda Academy. Whew, this is what I just read. Kanye West is going through it right now from everyone. Do you understand? Well, he's being whew, vehemently attacked by everyone. Now, Vogue, Balenciaga, JP Morgan, Gap, Justin Bieber, all types of individuals, Adidas, all so so many different individuals are denouncing associating themselves with Kanye West. But what they are saying is anti-Semitic comments. I checked this interview out, right? And one of the things that I noticed in the interview is that Kanye West said that he is of Jewish descent. So he can't be anti-Semitic. He said this in the interview. What confuses me is in the one interview, he said before anyone's angry at him, he says, hey, I am not anti-Semitic. In the interview, he says this. And then he makes a comment about his people being of the Judaic faith. Hmm. I wonder why people are not riding with the, they saying, oh, he made these comments. Well, well, what comments did he make? He he made a comment say he's not anti-Semitic, but you called him anti-Semitic. Are you understanding what I'm saying? He said that he's not during the same interview that he's being criticized about. Now, what I'm not understanding is who's mad at Kanye for what? The Jewish community is mad at Kanye for what? Don't say, if you answer, don't say, oh, because he made anti-Semitic comments. No, say what you're mad about. Say exactly why you're mad. Because now it seems like everyone's just saying, oh, he's, he's anti-Semitic. He's anti-Semitic. What? What? What specifically does that mean? Because Kanye just said that um, he come from black Jews. He's a descendant of black Jews. Basically, that's what he said. So how is he anti-Semitic? Did he say something that you don't like? I, I understand military threat levels. I understand. Look, listen, I, I listened to the interview. And when I heard the things that he was speaking about, I understood what he was saying. Um, he's not his whole life. Let me just give you this example. His whole life, right? From what you know in the entertainment world, he hasn't said anything against any community except the community that looks like this. No one's mad. College dropout, just, just so much. So many phenomenal bodies of work he has dropped. He has made so many contributions to so many different positive organizations, etc. right? No one has ever said anything about Kanye being anti blah, 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 right? But now all of a sudden, Everyone is on this train of 
being anti-Kanye. It seems so weird to me. He has said that he's not anti-Semitic. The headlines just came out that um, this Jewish educator who works for Donda Academy. You know about Donda Academy? Mm, yeah, that's Kanye West's thing, right? Honoring his mom, right? That education system, right? Mm. So you mean to tell me that a person who's anti-Semitic is hiring Jewish educators? You see how it don't add up? You got to think. You got to critically analyze and assess what's going on. It seems as if a dog whistle has been blown and now everybody is doing the same thing. It's being said, hey, don't deal with Kanye. So now Gap, oh, we, well, we got to cut ties with him. Adidas, oh, hey, hey, we got to cut ties with him. Vogue, hey, oh, oh, we got to cut ties with him. Oh, oh, we don't know. Oh, it's because of what he said, JP um, Morgan. Oh, no, no, we got to. He said something wrong. We got to cut ties with him. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The person that you have had no problems with for, what, 20 years? He started, what, good music in like 2000? So for 20 years, you had no problem with him. And now he's saying what you said is what you're calling anti-Semitic. And you can't even say what he said. You don't even understand what he said in the context. Put what he said in context and what he said about himself. He said that he's a descendant of Judaic faith. So if his people are Jews, he's saying that he's against himself. The argument doesn't make sense. He's hiring. He's so anti-Semitic, but he's hiring Jewish educators at Donda West Academy. Do you not understand? It's, it's OK. So listen. To the record industry, to people who listen to music. This is what I want you to think about. Def Jam, Columbia, Music One, all these gigantic, Interscope, all these gigantic music conglomerates, they hire African-American people to be employees. Now, you call those employees rappers. Okay. They drop some of the most alarming music known to hip hop, especially in 2022. This music tells the younger generation primarily minority generation tells these individuals go out and commit murder tell these individuals I went out and I committed murder tells these individuals to go out and sell drugs tells these individuals to walk around with an automatic, semi-automatic weapon looking for enemies to eradicate. Tells the listener, these artists use their platform that you're calling art. They're using their freedom of speech to say go out and murder go out and rape go out and kill go out and rob go out and do all the horrible things known to humanity steal a car smack a mama in the face beat a father up 
kill children. This is what this music is telling the world. It paints a violent picture, a graphic picture of society. <clears throat> and not one time have I heard any record label, any CEO, any CFO, any label executive say you are speaking negatively against and about the African-American community. Not one. Not one. No one say, hey, I'm boycotting this because you're talking bad about the African-American community and we can't stand for that. I can't let that fly. Oh, I'm angry about that. The Jewish executives, the African-American executives, the white executives, the executives of different ethnicities, not one time from not one company has ever said anything like, hey, you're speaking bad about the black community. You're speaking against the black community. What you don't know it was the African Holocaust? You, do you know that the Jewish Holocaust, they accredited for killing six million Jews? That's the Holocaust from what I read. You can add a million to you can add a million to it. Horrible. Injustice. Inhumane. And do you know that the African Holocaust, over 100 million Africans died during the transatlantic slave trade? What, you don't know that? If you lined everybody on this planet up, one in five people would be gone. That's how many people died during the transatlantic slave trade. During this African Holocaust, where people systematically created a whole system to eradicate a group of people in hopes of using them to build up the might of the Americas. This is the diaspora. This is the African Holocaust. And it's been called that by the African American Museum in America. It's being called that by so many other scholars from all around the world. So I'm not making it up. 100 million Africans died during this slave trade. Now, that ain't even including the millions that made it to these Americas. All these millions that made it to the Americas. You got me? But no one is talking about the African Holocaust where over 100 million people But we talking about the 6 million Jewish people that passed and were horribly murdered? We're mad about that? So we need to keep the same energy for the, for the 6 million that we have for the 100 million. But guess what? You can take a million or two away from each one. So if they said six million Jews died during the Holocaust, you can take a million away or give two million. So let's say eight million Jews died during the Holocaust. Now let's say 102 million died during the African Holocaust. But guess what? When artists are saying all these horrible things about 
black people being slaves and talking about all the negative things. Nobody's saying nothing. But why? Why no one have the same energy when African-American people die in the streets? I'm not understanding. If you so outraged, this is for anyone. If you are so outraged at injustice, I heard and I read a man say that injustice anywhere is a threat to everywhere. Do you hear what I said? Injustice anywhere is a threat everywhere. So you got to keep the same energy. Keep the same energy when my people are murdered in the streets. Keep the same energy when I'm talking about the African Holocaust. The Judaic Holocaust or the Jewish Holocaust was horrible. It's horrible that you would do that to a group of people. That's horrible. What kind of monsters would do that to a group of people? So when I think about these Africans being constantly murdered and went through all of this injustice, what kind of people would do that to these African people? And now I sit as a descendant of an African who was enslaved and no one cares. Where is your humanity when it comes to African-American people? Where is your humanity when it comes to African people? We have so much empathy when it comes to Jewish people because of the Holocaust. Because those six million Jews should have never died. And I agree, they should have never died. Horrible humans did this horrible thing to those Jewish, Jewish people. Now, I look at those people and my soul and my spirit weeps for that injustice. So now, I look at my own people and I'm hurt. But my only question is, why don't you care? Why don't you care about African-American people in this country? They suffering over and over and been begging America to rectify the injustices for hundreds of years. And everyone goes and has a blind eye when it comes to the millions and millions of people who were murdered. Not including the millions of people who were stuffed in the hull of ships and sent to the Americas, sent to Brazil, sent to Haiti, sent to Puerto Rico. People were enslaved in PR. Do you not know? Where is the justice when it comes to everyone else's Holocaust? Where? We cannot pick and choose when we stand on justice. Because injustice anywhere is a threat everywhere. What don't you understand? And why don't you care? I don't understand. It hurts my heart. It makes me so angry. Because what is happening is a discriminatory policy when it comes to certain groups of people. And these discriminatory policies and practices are constantly in effect. This is why now when you see this glass ceiling for certain people that look like this in corporate America, guess what? These people who look like this in corporate America, they know that something is going on. They see that they can't elevate, 
But guess what? They can't readily put a finger on why they not elevating, why they're not advancing. Who controls the media? Who controls the ports, the embarkation ports? That's where boats come into this country. Who controls the airlines? Who controls telecommunications? Who controls television? Who controls social media? Look at these individuals. Look at all of these entities that I'm naming. Who controlling these? Because it ain't people that look like this. But my point was, you got so much anger and you got so much energy for what could be considered anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish words by someone who said, hey, I'm not anti-Semitic and my people come from uh, of Judaic faith. And then they make some statements and then you pick and choose what to listen to. But like I said, if you're so angry and if you're genuinely angry and you got integrity, where's the same energy when it applies to all other people? Keep the same energy. That's what I advise. That's my advice. Keep the same energy because an injustice anywhere is a threat everywhere. And the only way we're going to get better, especially in America and globally as a whole planet, is through active communication, understanding, utilizing empathy, and just being a normal human. We living in a time where everybody, if you say one thing wrong, then you cancel. Everybody mad at you because you said one thing wrong. Now, I'm not saying what Kanye said was right or wrong. He has a perspective. Uh, why can't he give his perspective? Listen, I saw a Ku Klux Klan member say that slavery was the right thing for indigenous people and for African people. That's his perspective. I don't agree with his perspective, but no one banned him. No one banned him at all. Wasn't even mad that he said the things that he said. Now, some communities were, but guess what? No one care about those communities. But like I said, keep the same energy. If you could please keep the same energy with everyone who loses their life, then the world would be a better place. Because I'm telling you, something is wrong, and it seems as if nobody cares. And I keep telling you, no one cares. Hashtag NOC. You want to be picking and choosing what community to care about. But if you care so much, like I said, when my people murdered in the streets and historically, when we have ne never been made whole for all the wrongs that we have been that we've been through. Where's your empathy? The um, the Japanese, they got a form of reparations. Do you not know that when they was putting internment camps and things of that nature? America attempted to make them whole. The indigenous people. They were massacred. America attempted to make them whole, gave them reservations, and they still get money stipends to this day. That's reparations. So I'm not understanding how you do a group of people so wrong and they built this nation. They built this, this strong immune system built this nation. Because, you know, the natives, they were wiped out by, you know, rape homicide you got what i'm saying and guess who built the the economy guess who built this nation these victims the millions of victims that were in these americas in canada too 
North America, South America, England, Brazil, Island of Hispaniola, etc. You got me? So what's going on? Because we trying to be all about justice, right? We, we don't want people to be anti, right? Oh, oh, okay. It don't apply to these people, right? It only apply to, oh, oh, okay. Got it. Reminding you to be a protector. Stand for justice. Stay fearless. And be a warrior. Shadow band.